Okay guys, this isn't normal, but hey, it's Megan. And today has been a very, very busy day. I have been out shipping um, at my parents' house because I'm using their post office to ship out all of my clay earring business. So I've been there since about 12.30 this morning and this is a Nikki Bella update. So this morning when we left, she was in her birthing box, which I didn't think anything of it because she's been going back and forth. She didn't have milk this morning, so I'm a little surprised when I get home. Mind you, Ellie is at the farm today because I was busy and we left Nikki, Bella, and Finn here at the house like we would any other day. And, um, well, I come home to see this. Oh, don't sit on them, Mama. Guys, y'all aren't gonna believe this. I think that the scene speaks perfectly. Uh, oh man. I just got home. Megan beat me here, as she noted. And look at it. <sighs> look at, look at, guys. Nikki Bella had kitty cats. One, two, three, four, five. I count five, five kitties in frame right there. That is so insane. Y'all saw on the x-rays how even the vet thought there'd only be four. She was right though. That vet was correct about that she was close. close. I thought, I knew that she could have been close, but I figured because she hadn't, I thought she hadn't produced a lot of milk. So I figured that it would still be another week or two or maybe even three. I was reading about it online and uh, the female cats that are pregnant, well, first of all, they usually are pregnant for about 63 days, which is exactly nine weeks. And they start getting, they start showing the symptoms or the signs of being super close at about six weeks. And so I was thinking like, you know, Bumps, she hadn't produced a whole lot of milk yet. So maybe she's around that six or seven week mark. And there's still a little bit to go. There is no way I would have thought that two days after we found out she was pregnant, we come home and we find five babies, five babies, not less. Normally, when you get x-rays, you end up with less babies than what you see, not more. Five babies. And this first one right here that y'all see, this is an interesting color on it. I think that's the head. It's like black on the bottom half and white on its top half. They're cute. They are adorable. And sweet Nikki's adorable. She's so she, She's resting her eyes. She's had a really long day. I don't blame her. You get your beauty sleep, Nikki. You take care of those babies. That one is the healthiest one of all of them, to say the least. Still um, they all look just like her, so I'm guessing that her dad is the father. <laughs> Wait, so that means that these are her daughter, her children, and her siblings. That's that is the weirdest thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it couldn't have been a different colored cat that bred her because they all look just like her all five of them even the one with the most white still looks just like her so i have no idea how we're going to tell the other four apart this one right here is the healthiest one he done stole two of his brothers and sisters spots on the teeth literally just pushed them out of the way you deserve a lot of credit bubs you've done such an amazing job no she doing. she's done more honestly than I have with the cats. Not that doesn't mean that I'm negligent or anything, but it means that like she's taking the like the gung ho assertive role. You've you've done really good, Bubs. So it's been a very busy past two days with this. Yeah. So as you guys can see, we got a little boxing match going on here. You two do realize that she has enough teats for everybody, right? She's sitting there all passed out while two of her babies are have an absolute match of the century for one teat whenever there's Ooh, plenty, plenty for everybody. <laughs> Ooh, big stretch. Look at that big stretch. Ooh. Dang, guys. Y'all are going nuts over here. I think this guy won. I, so oh this, this, this one, So this one right here is the only one that doesn't look completely identical to Nikki. This one with the, quite a bit of white on its top half. And he's also the biggest. You'll see, look at, look at him. You can see how much longer he is than the other one right there. The other ones are about the same size. There's one little one, but this one is significantly bigger than his peers, his siblings. So we'll keep you up to date on that. And we'll find out these genders at some point here. I know we can look and figure it out right now, but I don't want to disturb them. And 
every time we come in, they're nursing out mom. So we'll give them a little while before we start pulling them apart and then looking at their little private parts, trying to identify the gender. That's not a big deal right now. And they did the little hands all. Dang, Gosh, like, really just clawing. Oh at my each goodness, other. this poor sibling is sitting there. Oh, and now there's somebody. This who, is a madhouse over here. So every time I come in here to check Mickey's food and water, this is what's happening every time, and it's the same two cats <laughs> every time. Oh my gosh, like just. I don't remember Cutie Pie's babies being anything like this. Mickey, come here, come here, Mickey. All right, guys, so here we are. It is Monday afternoon. It has been two and a half days since Nikki Bella has given birth to her beautiful babies. They were born Friday night, and she has done the most amazing job. I am so, so proud of her. Right now, she's taking a little break from nursing on the babies 24-7. She's earned it. She has exhausted herself, making sure all five of her babies are healthy, are warm, and are doing well. I'm so, so proud of her. I've said it time and time again, and will continue to say it. There is one thing, however, there is one little qualm I have with what Nikki's doing. One thing she does that kind of concerns me. I don't think she realizes she's doing it, but let me go ahead and show you what that concern of mine is. So as you can see, the five little babies are in the bed sleeping sweet and sound. They were sleeping sweet and sound. Now they seem to kind of be moving. Look at those little faces, you guys. You see that little cute face? Look at that face. Look at this little face right here. They got adorable little faces, these little tiny kitty cats. Do I count one, two, three? Yeah, I count five. Anyways, this bed area is kind of small. That might be why she's doing it. But the thing that's concerning me is that when Nikki gets into the bed, she kind of like plots herself right on top of the cat's faces she like it feels like she's crushing the kittens and it really scares me i understand the cats are kind of elastic or malleable for lack of a better term so i realized that it's not like a boulder falling on top of them it's more like a bean bag so that if it falls on top of you you can kind of wiggle your way out from under i if it was the other way around then only five percent of cats would probably make it to adulthood so I realize it's not like fatal or anything, but it still just kind of worries me. It bothers me seeing her plop her big old pregnant belly on top of their heads and then hearing them going ew, 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 and then having to wiggle their way out. Every time that me, Megan or somebody's here, we try to help, but I can't imagine how much she does this when we're not here, when we're not here to help. So what I've done to hopefully prevent this is I've gotten a way, way bigger bed area than this. Let me show you guys what I got. Now looky here, guys. This is a big old massive dog bed. <laughs> if this doesn't help with what's happening, then I don't know what will. There is more than enough space on this. It's a flat surface, so Nikki has no excuses now. I'm gonna put a towel over it so that she doesn't bleed on this because it wasn't cheap. I would, I would like this to last for a while if it can. Hey, Nikki, you coming to investigate the new bed? I think you're really gonna like it. I think your babies will like it too. Yeah, I was reading about the reasons why the mother cats do that, and there's a few different ones as to why. Sometimes they actually do it because they're trying to protect their babies. I read, I suppose it makes sense that if they were in the wild and they were worried about predators seeing their babies, the easiest way to hide them is just to lay on top of them so no one can see them. Interesting logic, but I suppose that's what some of the wild cats do. Um, I don't think that's Nikki's case though, because she don't have to worry about predators here, obviously. Um, I think that the reason she's doing it, like I was saying, is lack of bed space. That was a potential reason that <clears throat> they do it in the first place is that they don't have enough room. So I take blame on them, but I, like, I would like to think that I've righted my wrong. So let's put this over there and see how it goes. Guys, my strategy worked, I don't believe it. I didn't record it, unfortunately, but Nikki plops right down. The babies, I put them all in this left corner, and she plops down where she is now. And so they're currently working their way over to her, which is a lot better than her just crushing them. So I would like to say that my strategy worked. Somebody's a little lost. That's not where the teat's at, little guy or girl. Come here. There you go. There you go. You make your way home. All right. 
I think it worked. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a lot better. Yes. All right, so four of them have found their way home. Dang, it's big stretches. Sheesh, dude, what are you doing? I don't think that's good for the tums, eating upside down. I know I've gotten sick when I did that as a kid. My mom wasn't too happy that I threw up all over the place. I'm kidding, that never happened. But this right here, we got a rogue little kitty. Where are you going, little guy or girl? This is the runt right here. I think that would explain why she's the runt if she just goes off into oblivion just for no reason. There you go. See that? It's like she heard me talking. If you criticize them just slightly, they'll listen. <laughs> Y'all saw it right there, guys. I think this one right here is the one that Megan is in love with. Right, Bumps? The runt. The runt? Yeah, she's tired. It's still early. You lost, buddy. <laughs> All right, well, with that said, I hope y'all enjoyed. As always, y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys would want to see. I hope you all have an incredibly blessed day. And as I always say, your boy LDL.